The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. I went to Israel about a month and a half ago with a group of boys. So they actually left the day before me. I had to stay back for a, a speech or whatever, a wedding and a funeral. And I left on Sunday night. My flight was 11.45. I get there on time, get on the plane. The plane pulls out of the gate, goes on the runway. It's waiting a little bit, then it's waiting. The pilot says, we need another 10 minutes. Okay, no problem. Right as the pilot says, we need 10 minutes, some Israeli guy starts yelling, Arba! Arba! What's Arba? Arba! We're not leaving until Arba! What, what, what do you mean? We're not leaving until 4 o'clock! I said, it's, it's 11.45. He says, Arba! Sure enough, the flight took off at 3.45 a.m. So somehow this guy ended up, some computer broke, one out of 70 computers, they brought it back to the gate, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 3.45. Now sometime by the end of the flight, this man ended up in front of me. He's an older man, like in his 60s or 70s, I don't know if that's called old, but whatever. And he's in front of me, and he has no idea who I am, I have no idea who he is. And he's telling me his story, and this guy is Chiloni, completely irreligious. When I say completely religious, he says, I lived in New York for many years. He says, my wife, you know how we met? He says, I was at a party, drunk all night. I fell asleep, hung over. She woke me up in the morning and we started dating. That's how we met. <laughs> so I'm like, oh wow, this is okay, fantastic. I said, um, he says, do you want to hear my story? I said, you already told me more than I need to know. <laughs> he says, well, let me tell you my story. I said, okay, what is it? He says... I used to sell electronics in the Bronx. One day a man comes over to me and he opens up a bag. He says, I'll sell you everything in this bag for five dollars. There's a couple of old broken radios, clearly stolen, for five dollars. He says, I look into the bag and I see some black leather. I say, hey, one second. What is that? He tells the guy, you know what, here's the five dollars, I'll take the bag. He takes the bag, opens it up, and on the bottom of the bag... There's tefillin. So he says, it must be, there's a shul down the block. Uh, he calls the rabbi of the shul. He says, I want you to know, I got this bag, I don't need the radios, it's really this tefillin. And I bought it for just in case. One of your members is had his tefillin stolen, you give it back to him. The rabbi took it. Two weeks later, the rabbi calls him back, he says. And says, this guy telling me the story. So the rabbi calls me back and says, no one came to retrieve it, take it back. The person obviously gave up. And whatever the story is, it's, it's, you could keep it. Whether that's halakha or not, is not for now. He says a few months later, his father passed away. Someone told him, you know what, there's this thing that Jews do. They say Kaddish for the week. He says, Kaddish, I don't know what Kaddish, I don't know what it is, I don't know anything about it. Another friend tells him, you say Kaddish for the month. Someone else tells him, you say Kaddish for the year. He says, one second, they're telling me to say Kaddish. And I have these tefillin. He said, let me try. He went to shul one day to say Kaddish for his father put on tefillin and say Kaddish for his father. He says, I have not missed a day of tefillin in 35 years since. Just one moment of daylight. Do one move, one act, one thing, and it makes such a humongous difference in your life. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire dot org.